Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3. Let's actually go to bed. Uh, we are live streaming at the moment. At the same time, I'm going to be recording the episode. So if you want to watch the behind the scenes of the recording, uh, you are always welcome to the streams. I'm going to try to do them at 9.30, 10 p.m. Like probably, I don't know. I can't really tell with the kids, so uh, it will be when I can, but normally in the week, like Friday, Thursday, Wednesdays, I don't know exactly uh, when, okay, but I've been doing some stuff, and let's start by putting this away for a second, you can see I rem remodulated everything since the last, uh, the last episode, so I changed some stuff around, I put all this in here and I put a bunch of uh, the blocks, uh, some of the, a few diamonds and stuff that we get from loot chests, uh, some of these uh, vegetables and, and saplings and this is where I'm gonna be putting the armor and other stuff like that. So in here probably chest and we can put stuff like this one, buttons, etc. Now I did got two of these uh, epic and rare mega loot case that I wanted to open with you guys. Uh, so let's take a look. We get uh, dragon leggings, awesome, because that's the only thing I was missing. And the other one is a, what is that? It's a Gladius, 16 damage, leech, 86 pairs of player damage they'll wither enemies for one second on hit. Wow, that's cool. I have a few other tools in here. Uh, I got this one also in Mega Loot, Builder Stream, and I got uh, from Silent Gems these and this one. So we got a pretty nice collection of, uh, of loot here. So let's take a look at the quest book. <clears throat> and uh, see what we completed from the start. So basic research, I did the life infusion. Now that one I put in here. So we have that in here. Uh, recipe, not very hard to make. You need a cactus, obtaining by shift right clicking on a cactus block. And I got the cactus. Uh, you get actually this uh, uh, dehydrate cactus by plant matter, light ray, and bone, uh, a bone block. So all easy recipes. This is, I use leaves, and this one I use uh, bone meal, and uh, uh, it was uh, an ink sack, okay? I also got, and I put in here, shears of winters. Really great to use to shear stuff. Really, really great. Uh, what else I got? Uh, let's see actually what else I did in here. So that one we can claim. So we can claim that loot chest. The knife, I did the stone knife and this one, really easy to make. I can claim that one. And I also did the uh, uh, conden uh, this uh, stone condenser and all this that we can claim. So we can open that fancy lantern decorative ship and we get that in there so bunch of really bad I should put probably a chest from all the crappy loot maybe at one point can I put in there no it has to be this is a regular one uh, okay I'm gonna put in here for now I'll move it after so we can put that and that in there uh, what else I got? Nothing else. Okay, so I put the uh, stone casing, the condenser right here. We have a chest underneath that is going to be producing uh, this iron alchemical dust. Now, this is made by blaze powder and rotten flesh right here. Okay, and the way it works, this one actually, uh, last episode uh, or the one before, I don't remember. I totally forgot about that. Now we have a very starting uh, alchemical fusion table uh, power here or dust. So this, the yield is 75%. Um, if we take a look at alchemical dust, you will see we're using this one here. This one is much better 
So we need redstone, blaze powders, and this these alchemical iron ingots. So we're not there yet. So the way this works, if I throw, for example, a piece of glass, this glass we can actually use to make um, this in here, the crystal shard that we're gonna use in that machine. But if I throw one piece of glass, this first yield is gonna produce nothing because since it's at 75% chance, the first 25 in here are not gonna give me anything. Now they're gonna give me the product that I need for in this example, I want to make a little bit more, for example, of this. So we're gonna make three batches of iron. So now I can put, uh, for example, this in here and it's going to produce one of these iron alchemical dust. If I throw this and this, it's going to produce two more, and then you will see these going all the way down. So two, and now we're going to get another one as well. Now, if I throw two blaze powders and more of these, it's not going to produce anything. It's like throwing, for example, a piece of glass here. So that's not going to give me anything. As you can see, but if I throw now three pieces of glasses, the three res of the 75%, they're gonna give me those crystal shards. So that's the way this one works. So if uh, quite interesting the mathematics behind it, I guess. Now I'm gonna need these to put on that in here, the crucible. Now we can always put uh, something better in here and uh, we're gonna evolve that of course at one point. So now what I can do is I come back here, I throw these uh, crystal shards right there in the crucible and I can go back down and right here we throw the iron and chemical dust. Now that crucible will collect those three drops, this liquid, and with that we're going to process all these ore dust and that's going to start producing the iron ingots for us. So this is the first four iron ingots we get and that should complete this quest in here so we can claim that is there a second no there you go so we have that one there and a loot chest with magenta balloons i think oh we already got that in there as well at one point uh this one i can throw in there for now Okay, so let's take a look at what else we can do in here. Uh, I still need to get this oak sapling. I haven't got it yet to complete that quest. Uh, and this is the mini freezer. Now, we need some snow. And I don't see an easy way. Actually, these frozen cores will actually give me snow. And I think I have two... So what am I doing? So that's five, that's 10. We could make right there, I think a snowman. And do I have, I do not, but I do have pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna actually put one in there and one in there. So let's put a torch just in case. And I think I'm going to have to wait. I can use plant matter also in here to accelerate the process. But after that, it's not going to do anything. So we did that one. This one required grass. So grass. To get passive move to spawn and obtain different seeds, you are going to need to make a grass block. All right. Let's make a grass block. I think for that we can use uh, this in here the life infusion so i need four seeds and a piece of dirt to make a grass block and that's gonna actually get seven heart from me now the seeds i don't think i have any seeds but you can use flint and a dead bush now we have flint but uh, let me just double check if i have some seeds i don't have some seed okay that's what I need to do. Dead bush. Okay, and now we have to combine a dead bush with... Uh, what was it again? With two flint. That's going to give me one piece of grass. 
I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. One, two, three. So let's do three pieces for now. And, uh, all right, so let me get everything ready and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back and I think I have everything here. So let's open up in here. Uh, we can throw, I think I can throw everything. So we are in the process of making uh, four seeds so we can use. And the four seeds are in the combustion. Dead bush and two flint will give me one seed. So, uh, yeah, it's that one, that one, and I need to close it, and boom. So that's gonna give me four seeds, and now to get the grass block, uh, I should have made more. L let me actually make a little bit more so we have some. Uh, let me eat something. It's seven hearts, I think, so there you go. It will remove seven hearts from you, but we got a piece of grass. So I am going to save it for now because I don't really want to use it. But after a while, I'm going to put it in a place so we can get more span. And Nugent just joined the, the stream. Welcome. All right, so we need... Two pumpkins, we have the two snow. Uh, let's take a look at the quest. We can claim this loot chest. Very nice. Uh, what do we got? Let me organize this. We got a gold coin from Terma Foundation. Oh, we are away from doing that for now. Uh, let me put this in this and all this in here. Um, probably. <clears throat> these seeds we're gonna save for later now we do need the snow we need one pumpkins for now so the other one can go right here and I think that's gonna be okay and then we can cover him and I'm gonna cover him right away with the slab so and then we can come in here and just in case put a torch Okay, so I can stand in here and grab this guy. Do I have a shovel? I don't remember if I did actually a shovel. And I don't remember is actually the shovels from Tinkers are actually going to work uh, with this guy. Oh, I forgot this is uh, actually a little bit higher. Okay, so let's, let's build the snowman and then we can put that one in there. There you go. Hi. Uh, do you work with this or not? Yeah, okay. So there we're going to get a bunch. Now let me see if I can do it from here. Uh, can I do it from there without punching the guy? Yeah. As long as he doesn't see anyone, I think we're okay. Because if not, he's going to start trying to move. And uh, that's enough. So mini freezer or freezer. We're going to have to do the mini first is two block of snow. So easy enough. And I'm going to do actually two. And that's going to give me two mini freezer. Is that the quest? Yes, that complete that quest as well. So we can claim it and see what we got we got rainbow bricks yay probably probably very nice decorations oh look at that my god try to incorporate that on a build right <laughs> okay what else we have in here uh let's see so mini freezers are done I'm gonna need to finish this one so I'm gonna fish a little bit and talk a little bit with the uh, the viewers on the stream guys and uh, I also gonna farm a little bit more mobs and I'll be right back all right guys so welcome back I do have an item gate for this that we're gonna place 
because and uh, let me remove actually the charcoal uh, that is better than having to open and close that all the time so I do want to place it right there that way we can throw the stuff in there so thank you Le Botard, for reminding me of that uh, I also make uh, one of these uh, apple trees I needed two oak to make the gate so if we take a look at the it's called the crate no it's not a crate it's uh, uh, what is called again I forgot the name the uh, grate uh, you can see it needs an oak trap and none of the woods I had work it <clears throat> so I needed to do that uh, so I got the oak wood uh, the oak wood is the only one missing from fishing but since I don't want to fish anymore I grab four saplings using plant matter from this and we only need one piece of wood and if we plant that in here for example uh, let's see let's go to oak sapling we can use also the life infuser is gonna cost us a five heart and get an oak sapling so that's my the only way I see to get a sapling right now so there you go we get an oak sapling and that should finish that quest as well so another way to finish a quest I love that and more of this so quest updating fishing for saplings uh, we can throw that in there and I will probably plant this soon so I can uh, get more wood uh, and saplings all right so if we take a look in here we are completing most of these I think that this we need all the seeds man that's gonna take a while but that is something that I think I'm gonna do off camera so all the coffee seeds and stuff like that uh, I think it's only I need a I need to put the piece of grass that we got in this episode to start uh, having some animals so I'm gonna try to expand that platform right there and I'm wondering if we can make like a, a regular iron one or a stone one at the beginning to help us out or maybe we're lucky uh, well actually we do have the diamonds already to make one of those that's really helpful so that's gonna help us expand the platform very fast and then the compressed cactus is just a bunch of cactus so I need to plan my green area around here and I'm gonna do that in between this episode and the next one I do have this one here the friender uh, pearl I've been carrying around because if we see one of those uh, green endermans I can actually use these to friend the enderman so he's gonna follow me around actually I can uh, tell him to like a dog to stay to follow me and he's gonna defend me from other mobs so that's really cool enderman evolution and what else we have in this tab because that's uh, yeah I can use actually this one as well the smeltery and all this stuff I set up this on uh, uh, forever stranded lost soul so I don't know if I should make it also uh, show that in here but I will uh, hot wood yeah all this stuff we need to progress uh, I did one of these great uh, soils so I can put it on my on my sword on this one uh, that give you smite and I think I'm gonna continue on the next episode to finish this uh, out so we need an iron casing so I'm gonna need to make a lot more iron and all that jazz probably improve the the farm uh, the mob farm as well so thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you guys on the next time bye bye